My name is Troy Chavez. I am the lead MA for Nationwide Laboratory Partners, and today we'll be going over the urine collection process, uh, the blood wellness collection process, and the allergy uh, comprehensive panel. First off, uh, this is our urine collection requisition form. We have highlighted all of uh, the fields that need to be checked off. We will need to provide last name, first name, date of birth, gender, whether the patient has is self-pay, um, Medicaid, Medicare, workers' comp, or if it's a third-party insurance. If it's third-party insurance, we will provide the name of the insurance on the highlighted field here. Number two, we will provide a copy of the insurance document and the patient's demographic. Field number three, we will get the consent for testing from the patient and the patient will have to sign their name on the field, the highlighted field here and the date and the date it was collected. Field number four, ordered test. The MA will then check off, use my existing test order on file. Field number five, diagnosis codes. We have additional codes provided below. You can add the provider's codes above. Field number six, specimen collection information. The MA will then provide the date and time of the collection date, the collector's initials, and whether the urine was correct, body temperature. Field number seven is only if the clinic is doing point of care testing. Field number eight, medication information. The MA will then check off medication list attached or medication reports, no medications. Field number nine, we will need the physician's signature and date of collection. The MA will then provide the specimen cup to the patient with the name, the patient's name, the date of birth, the date of collection, and the time. The patient will need to provide at least 50 cc's of urine or halfway through the cup. The temperature strip below lets the MA know whether the urine is correct body temperature or not. Once the urine is provided, the urine must be secured and tightened. The MA needs to make sure that the cup has clicked twice once all the correct information has been provided for the urine, the MA will then grab parafilm and tape it across the cup. This will provide an extra secure hold for the urine, that way it doesn't spill in transit. Once the, once the cup has been secured, Place the cup into the specimen bag, like so. Then the MA will place it into a refrigerator until shipped in. Now we'll be going over the blood wellness collection process. And first I will be providing a short summary on what supplies the MA will need. First, the MA will need a tourniquet two lavender tops, two tiger tops, gauze, a band-aid, alcohol swab, a vacutainer for the butterfly needle or the straight needle. Okay, we're now going to go over the blood wellness requisition form. As you can see, we have highlighted all the mandatory fields. The MA will need to provide the highlighted information, name, date of birth, gender, height, and weight. The MA will need to get consent from the patient, and the patient must sign below. The MA will then check off the which test panel the provider has selected for testing. ICD-10 codes must be checked off. We have provided a list below, and any additional ICD-10 codes must be written on the provided fields. Down below, we have provided a field for the ME 
the MA to provide the drawing facility, their initials, the date and time, and whether the patient is fasting or not. We also have a field for the physician to sign and date. The MA will draw two tiger tops first, then the two lavender. The reason you will be drawing the two tiger tops first is because of the cross-contamination. Once the blood has been provided, the tiger tops must be, must you must wait for the tiger tops to clot 10 to 15 minutes. Once the blood has clotted, you will set the centrifuge at 3300 RPMs to 3500 RPMs and the time to 15 to 20 minutes. Now that the blood has clotted, the MA will place the tire tops into the centrifuge like so. Make sure that the centrifuge is closed and secure and it will spin for 20 minutes. Wait for the centrifuge to come to a complete stop and pull out the tiger tops. Okay, once the tiger tops have been spun, the blood has been broken down into three different serums. That lets the MA know that the specimen is ready for shipment. Now we'll be going over the shipping process for the blood wellness panel. We will provide the medical assistance with an insulated shipping pack two ice packs, and a FedEx bag or box. The frozen ice, ice packs must be placed into the isolated pack. The blood is to be placed into a biohazard bag with labels on all tubes and requisition form placed in the black slip of the specimen bag. You will fold like so. and place into insulated pack. Please make sure that the insulated pack is secure. Once you are done filling up the insulated bag, you must place it into FedEx shipping bag or box and place a shipping label on the front or back of the bag. We will now be going over the collection process for the comprehensive allergy panel. First, the MA will need a tourniquet, swab, band-aid, alcohol prep pad, a vacutainer for the straight needle or butterfly needle. In order to process the allergy panel, the MA will need to provide blood for two tiger tops. The two tiger tops must be labeled correctly with the patient's name, date of birth, time, and date of collection. We will provide the labels like so. Here we have the allergy requisition. The patient will here we have the allergy requisition. The MA will provide the patient's last name, first name, gender, and date of birth along with any insurance. We will need to get consent from the patient. The patient must sign below. The MA will then check off the test order panel for comprehensive allergy panel number 999. The MA will then provide any additional codes or check off any codes that we have provided below. The specimen collection information must be provided by the MA. We need the drawing facility, the phlebotomist's name or initials, the specimen type and serum, and date and time of collection. We will also need the provider's signature and date. The MA must let the blood sit for 10 to 15 minutes or until clotted. Once the blood has been clotted, the MA will place the blood into the centrifuge. The centrifuge must be placed at 3300 RPMs to 3500 RPMs and must be spun for 15 to 20 minutes. Once centrifuge has come to a complete stop, the MA will then reach for the blood and make sure that the blood has been spun correctly and separated into three different serums. Once the blood has been placed in the specimen bag, and the requisition along with the patient's demographics and insurance has been put in the bag as well. The MA will then place the blood into an insulated packet 
that we will provide for each office along with two frozen coat packs. The inmate will then close tightly and make sure that the packet is secure. We will also provide a FedEx shipping bag or box. The inmate will place the insulated bag with blood and frozen packs into the FedEx shipping bag or box. The inmate will then place a shipping label on the front or back of the shipping bag.